So this is the new Bedlam pack, and we've already done a video with it fully loaded with gear for what we used on our last camping trip. Right now, I wanted to go over how we're gonna set it up for day hunting. From this photo, you can see the contents I have in the pack, but I'm going to show you how I will attach or, or put the tripod spotter, puffy jacket, snow shovel, rifle, things like that, and how those will go on the outside of the pack and how versatile this actually is. So we have an 82 millimeter uh, spotting scope. That's a Leica right there. Over here, we have an Outdoorsman compact tripod and a puffy jacket. Puffy jacket gets stuffed in the tuck pocket, suck that up tight, buckle these, and you've got super versatile glassing pack ready to go. So now I've got the New Zealand mountain stick on the side, tripod and spotter in the stash pocket. And over here I have my puffy jacket. So and I'm gonna leave the mountain stick in there. The cool thing about having the tripod and spotter in that stash pocket your buddy can pull that out a little bit easier behind you if you need to get to your optics quickly. All right, so now I have the tripod and spotter actually attached. Tripod in the stash pocket, spotter under the lid. I've got my Nalgene bottle over here in case you would just want to put normal pockets on the belt and my puffy jacket in the other vertical zip pocket. So here, That's ready to go. Nalgene bottles down here and fairly quickly I can get to my puffy jacket array here. Alright now we have the Viking Armament uh, XLR chassis rifle with the folding stock. I've got my puffy jacket inside now. Zip this up. I'm going to take the rifle, slide that in the tuck pocket, take this compression strap, go across, and then I can take these straps and I'm going to crisscross those vertically. So right now I've got a Viking Armament XLR Industries chassis uh, 6.5 PRC in here. I've crisscrossed these straps going to the snow collar lid and the puffy jackets inside. Spotting scope tripod. Having these crisscrossed keeps that rifle in place just a little bit better. I also now have this strap, that three quarter horizontal across. Super simple. Rifle comes out relatively easy and then zipper access right here to get to the puffy jacket. All right, so with this, I've got the rifle on my right side and on the left side, I've got the spotter and tripod. So I will get this unbuckled. Those compression straps, the way they're seated, do a pretty good job of not getting in the way of the rifle. And I'm able to get the compact medium tripod, or excuse me, compact tripod and 82 spotter in there. Puffy jacket is in the stash pocket.